Oh, did I just hook up? Oh, I'm on. I'm on as soon as it drop. As soon as I drop, guys, as soon as I like my bell, I have fish on. This feels like a good fish, too. Holy crap, I'm so excited. <laughs> Been here a while, y'all. What do we got? What is that's not a sheep's head? Oh, it is. Oh, it's a good size sheep's head. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Wow, guys. Yeah. Sheep's head. Let's go. Let's go. My day is made. Holy crap, dude. He hit that as soon as I set it down, guys. Now, I want to explain to y'all why I'm so freaking excited right now, okay? <laughs> well, for one, catch a fish is awesome, no matter what kind of fish it is, right? Let me put my gloves on, because these things are, have some sharp, very sharp, uh, well, lots of things. I'm not trying to get cut. But yeah, guys, this is only the third sheep's head I've ever caught. <laughs> I've not done a lot of sheep's head fishing. And so the first two I caught were like barely legal. This dude is a fatty compared to the ones I've caught before. There he is, guys. And it's not a monster by any means. I'm gonna measure him here in a second. But I mean, uh, if you guys watch like Yakima Jack and Lawless Tide, those guys catch way bigger. But this is my biggest one by far. And I'm just stoked that I actually caught one because I mean, I just haven't done a lot of this kind of fishing, so this is exciting to me. It's something new. Let's get a measurement on them. Here we go. 19 and a half inches. It's a pretty good one. He's going in the bag. We having sheep's head tonight. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hey, guys. Guess what? We're going fishing. I got my, my OG fishing partner here with me today. Amber Morris set. Anyway, we're going sheep's head fishing today. We paid five dollars and fifty cents across the Soul Bridge. We're gonna have to pay another five dollars and fifty cents across it back. So I hope we catch some sheep's head. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys our setup real quick before we get started out there on the water because it's just easier to do it that way. Just got my little inshore toad fish rod with a Stratic 3000 on it. That's not important. Any lightweight inshore setup that you'd use for like redfish and trout it's gonna work great we got 15 pound braid to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader i got a little birds of prey uh, knocker jig on there with a cray loop knot give it a little more action about a two to three foot leader and a plastic container full of fiddler crabs yeah and yeah y'all that's pretty much it this time of year, sheep's heads are piled up on the bridges, and uh, I don't think they've moved closer to the gulf yet. I don't think, we've fished three mile a few times, we've caught one here and there, but they're not really like thick yet. So I think they're still back up close towards the river systems. Um, so that's what we're gonna try today. This is a brand new spot for us. Uh, I've never fished here before, never even been here before. So we're all gonna learn something new today. Catch you guys on the water. All right, guys, we're going over here across the pathway, whatever you want to call it, to uh, fish the, the main bridge, because it's only like 12 feet deep here. I don't know the depth over here. I'm assuming it'd be deeper. The pylons are much taller. It's built for the, the bridge people actually drive on, as opposed to the railroad bridge. It's pretty short. I'm assuming it'd be deeper over here. And then plus, like the wind and the current right now, we can't really hold a place very good. What we're trying to do is get on the back side of the pylons uh, where the current coming towards us so we can kind of be blocked from the current directly behind the pylon we can hold the place a lot better um, and those pylons right there they're like the bottoms of them are open so water is actually going through them and we can't really like hold in place very good and there's nowhere to tie off to either so we'll check over here see if we can't find a better better option over here yeah. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Hey, redfish. <laughs> Holy crap. 
I was on as soon as I closed my bell, guys. Just dropped out here and say, uh, little redfish. <laughs> I don't think he's a keeper. But that's cool. First uh, fish off of this bridge. Forget the name of the bridge. I'll let y'all know in the, in the uh, description of the video. But hey, we got a fish. He's probably 13, 14 inches. I'm not going to bother measuring him. But man, he nailed it as soon as I dropped down. <laughs> let him go. How about my fish? Yeah. Yeah, I got a fish. All right, we're gonna go drop the same spot again, see if we can get another one. I like redfish. I like all fish, except catfish and remoras. I'd rather take a remora than a catfish, though. A little deeper here, too. 19.6, about 20 feet. Oh, crap. I hope I don't hook up right here. Freaking hung up on my camera lens. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on, guys. Something good. Feels pretty decent. Oh, it's a sheep. It's a sheep. I got a sheep. Oh, let's see if we can get him here. It's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Let's go. Get him over here. Oh, come on, buddy. Yeah, we got a sheep's head. Let's go. Oh, yeah, babe. Huh? You're going to go check my spot? Amber's going to go check the spot that I just caught the sheep's head, see if she can find her one. Yeah, babe, you're going to check my spot? And that was only eight feet of water. There's probably more. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's a nut. Oh, my God, that's a good sheep's head. Guys, look at the hook set on this dude. I didn't even hook him in the mouth. I went to set the hook and got him in the freaking nose. That's crazy. Got him right in the freaking nose. How does my line keep getting wrapped in my GoPro? Oh yeah. That's a good sheep right there, y'all. Let's get a measurement on him here. He's right at 20, just over maybe about 20 and a quarter. Hey, he's over 20. There you go, guys. A little bit over 20. That is a nice sheep's head and my new personal best. <laughs> I'm stoked. Let's get this guy bled and get him in the bag. Oh, whoa, right here in the middle. Right here in the middle. <laughs> Holy crap. Guys, I, I was trying to get back to my freaking spot. <laughs> and uh, I drifted off of it. So I dropped down. And uh, I left it I left it in the water trying to get back to my spot. I'm gonna loosen the drag, let him run if he wants to. Cause I'm pretty far away from the pilings. If this is a sheep, it's a good one. Amber. <laughs> oh, it's a sheep! It's a sheep! I wasn't even up against the pilings for this one. Oh, this is a good one, too. I only got 15 pounds, man. I think I need to put bigger leader on here. Oh, it's a good sheep. Another good one. Another good one. He was out here in the friggin' middle. Come on, buddy. Almost got you. That's a good one. Oh! <laughs> hey, 
He was in the middle. I wasn't even on the pylons. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Y'all want you to catch one, bro. Well, there we go, guys. I think I broke my personal best twice. Cause that is a freaking pig, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Take, hey, yakking with Jack, I'm coming for you, buddy. Dang, look at the choppers on those. Woo, don't get me with them spikes. Oh, I'm stoked. This is awesome. Finally found something I could catch besides tuna in the wintertime. Holy crap, this thing's a pig. Bro, he's 22. Y'all see? Let's see if I can get it to where y'all can see. He's, uh, there's a tail. He's like 21 and three quarters. He's about 21 and three quarters, guys. Or if it was Rob from Active Duty Outdoor, he'd probably tell you this is about 28, 29 inches. <laughs> but there you go. My second PB. Back to back PBs, guys. It's easy to do whenever you're catching a species you never really targeted before, but I'm having a blast, dude. That's awesome. I'm just, dude, I'm thrilled right now. I want Amber to get on one. I want you to catch one so you can have some fun. Oh, oh, Amber's on. Get away from the pylon, babe. Bro. <laughs> Well, guys, Amber got her a fish. <laughs> it's the wrong species. Freaking catfish. Oh. Well, we can go home now. Hello, Amber. Saw no caught fish, but these conditions are miserable and borderline unsafe. So. I don't know. All right, yeah, let's get out of this shot. What's that? I want to check that out, but it's going to be just as bad over there. All excuses for why you didn't catch fish. You know why you didn't catch fish? Because you're not a true fisherman. Me, true fisherman. And I can prove it because I caught fish. That's facts. You caught a catfish. That's like the opposite of a fisherman. True fishermen don't catch catfish. Only loser fishermen catch catfish. You hear that, Rob? <laughs> All right, guys. It's supposed to be east wind today, but the weather, man, lied. Again, pretty much a south wind. What's up guys? We're back from our trip. It's actually the next day. It got the conditions got pretty rough on bad. us out there and uh, It was really hard to hold in place So we decided to call it but we do have the one sheep's head from the day before and the two sheep's head from the recent trip And we're gonna do a little catch and cook for you guys. So they got these they had these blackstone grills as a 36 36, 36 yeah. inch on sale at track supply for 250 bucks. So this is Brand new. We just picked this up. First time cooking on it. There's the dog. Say hi, dog. She's eating probably fish that we dropped. Anyway, <laughs> we got our fillets. So this is catch and cook, not catch, clean and cook. Because yeah. <laughs> it's my first time cleaning sheep's head. I'm not a professional fish cleaner, so maybe in future videos I'll do the cleaning part. But yeah. but for now, you guys can just like watch someone else if you want to learn that. Because I'm not the guy to learn it from. All right, so. Anyway, we got our sheep's head fillets here. We have melted butter and seasoning. This is fishmonger seasoning. It's the only fish seasoning we had in the house, so that's what we're going with. We got some asparagus and we got some bread. So gonna fire up the grill now for the very first time don't blow your hand off okay guys I can smell the propane grills not lighting we'll be back when we figure this out so we had to manually light the grill yeah. I'm not sure if they like it was already set up when we bought it I think it was maybe like their floor model or something like that so they might have not done it correctly I yeah don't know. not sure but we got it lit manually so not recommended, but it yeah. works. <laughs> it, was, it was different. I don't like manually, li manually lighting anything. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna dip it in butter. 
but are still warm. And I'm gonna go over to our seasoning and dip it in the seasoning. I'm gonna stick it on. So this is blackened. We're blackening it. Blackening. Right? Yep. You can hear it sizzling now. Yeah. It's supposed to be like three to five minutes on each yeah. side. Do you guys like that really cool hole in our fence, by the way? That was from a bear. I just mm -hmm. left it up. Yeah, we have bears. They live in our backyard. We live behind the woods. And so, see this really cool tree right here? It used to have bird feeders hanging on it. But the bears ripped them down. So we just threw them away because we put them back up like three, four times after that. And the bears just, I don't know, I guess they like smell the bird seed or, or the, I don't know, they know what's there. They come, climb our tree, rip the bird feeders down. Every, like, there's our there's our bedroom window right there. So we're like literally looking at the bears. Yeah. Like almost face to face with them. <laughs> bears are cool, but I don't want them in my backyard. Yeah, I went face to face with one of them once through that hole. Yeah. I thought it was the stray cats that play in there in the backyard. And I went down there to grab the dog. So I was like, that doesn't sound like the cats. And she was down there going to the bathroom. And as soon as I grabbed her, I turned around and there was a black bear like staring right at me, like five feet from me. And I grabbed her and I was like, let's go now. Uh, there's a mama bear that has, I think, two cubs is what we've seen. Yeah. And the cubs are really cute. I don't want to mess with mama bear though. Yeah, I don't really want to go try to pet them or anything. I might get attacked. I wish I could pet them. Yeah, they're cute. Mm, they climb up in the tree right there. Anyway, maybe we'll get them on camera one day. Yeah. Well, we have them on our cell phone camera. Yeah. Look at that sizzling. I know, it smells really good. It does smell good. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. All right, so it's been about what? Four or five minutes? Something like that, yeah. We're flipping them now. Yeah. Dallas showed up. All right, y'all, the fish is done. It looks delicious. Looks pretty good, yeah. Smells good. We're gonna pull it off and cook some bread and asparagus. All right, y'all, we never really cooked asparagus on grill before. We don't know what we're doing. It's a fishing channel, not a cooking channel again. So, but we're trying. Now the sheep's head looks delicious. So what did you do here, just pour some butter? Pour some butter and put the asparagus in there. So what you want to do guys is just pour some butter and then put the asparagus on there. Let it cook. Yeah. You don't season it or anything? I rolled it around in the butter. I mean I can put salt and pepper on it if you want to. You can put salt and pepper on it if you want to. Alright, the asparagus is done. We're, we're butter buttering our skillet now. I, think our, I don't think our grill's level. <laughs> our porch isn't level. <laughs> I don't think grills come with a leveler, do they? Maybe they do. I don't think so. Not ever since she was a puppy. You think you're getting a piece? Okay, I know I'm getting a piece. Here, test, you, test the asparagus. It's probably hot, though. <clears throat> it's hot. No? It's hot. That's why. She's having a hard time because it's hot. She doesn't seem to mind too much. Pretty good? Yeah. Give me more. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't really know. Let me try it again. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's not hot. And it is good. Alright. Alright. Making us a plate. On our elec... Ele elegant? Is that the word? Elegant. I'm so unelegant that I don't even know how to say elegant. That is true. Anyways, those are very elegant plastic plates. Mm -hmm. Or paper plates. They're paper. Yeah. One step up from plastic. Yeah. We're fancy. That looks good. Is that my plate? Yep. Alright. About to try a bite for the first time because I swear I didn't sneak a bite earlier off camera. I swear. I swear. Right? Yeah. But it is good. It's falling apart. I can't even get a friggin' there we go. It just went black. That's okay. fine. Okay. It's really good. It's like really, really good. I don't even know what to say that it tastes like because it just... It has its own taste. It don't taste like fish. It just tastes like... I don't know, like good. Shrimp and crabs. I don't know, there's so much seasoning on it that I'm tasting mostly seasoning. <laughs> but it's 
<laughs> well, we, we did that on purpose. Well, we blackened it. Yeah. But it's, it's delicious. It really is. So, highly recommend you guys try this. Of course, the bread and asparagus is going to be good. Yeah. Well, all right. We're going to... We're going to end the video now so we can enjoy our meal. Thank you guys for watching. If you yeah. enjoy this type of content, this is something different on our channel, leave us a comment, let me know. We'll do this more future videos and we'll try to get better at catching or at uh, cleaning and cooking for the next one. Other than that, see you guys in the next one.